Look at that. It's beautiful. There's a guy I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, this isn't something that I normally do. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come here. Come here, you sexy motherfucker. I want you guys I to meet get someone. Into it. This is a body of mine. This is Wicked Moto. One of the most generous motherfuckers I've ever met in my life. <laughs> this dude deserves way more than he's getting on YouTube. So I'll put a link to his channel in the description. You need to check him out. He's very kindly offered to let me have a play with his 2011, well, 2012 S1000. Look at it, what a monster. You guys will probably remember that I took out the 2015 S1000. So it'll be really interesting to note just what the differences are. Very much looking forward to it. So I think we should probably cut the shit and, and get going. So I'm under orders from Chase. I have to ride like a half an hour in a direction so that none of you scary rapist, uh, pedophile, home invasion people break your way into his bedroom at three in the morning. Uh, let's go left because I don't know where it goes. Don't worry before you think to yourself, but smell, you're gonna get lost and killed, bro. I have my phone in my pocket. That's gonna sat nav me back to the house. So as expected, the S1000RR is super slow handles like a boat, looks awful, rides awful, I hate it. You gotta be kidding me, this thing is amazing. It's so good. I'm learning the old uh, stop sign tricks now. I got this shit. I might as well be American boy. In the deep south. But what a beautiful area, how nice is this? It's gorgeous. I love this area, I could live here a tomorrow. If anyone is watching this, who lives stateside, guy or girl, doesn't matter. Please will you marry me? I'll give you the best 12 months of your life. Loving, caring, devoted. Then I'm gonna divorce you from my citizenship and, uh, and run away. But for those 12 months, oh boy, you better prepare your anus for some real loving, if you know what I'm saying. A twisty road, oh no. No, please no, not a twisty road, God no. That's just the worst, that's not what I want. Oh, this feels awful. I hate it. That's pretty. It's awful. This bike is the worst. So what I could touch on is the whole squidding fiasco because the Englishman among you will have already seen my bare naked arms and gone, that faggot is not wearing a jacket. Screwed. And there's a reason for that, okay? We went into Atlanta yesterday, 32 goddamn degrees Celsius. Now, I don't know about you guys, but being an Englishman, one ray of sunshine is enough to make me die. I grossly underestimated the temperature out here. I really did. But it's been getting to the point where I'm so uncomfortable in my gear that not only am I not enjoying myself when I ride in that kind of temperature, but it makes it super, super difficult to concentrate, almost impossible. And considering that I'm in a different country using a road system that I'm not familiar with, in traffic that I'm not familiar with and at the same time I'm trying not to get lost and record a video at the same time it's just uh, it's not been working out um, which is why I've decided to come out now early in the morning before the heat really starts to bear down on us so I'm squidding right now and it feels amazing I know that it's dangerous believe me I know that it is but if I want to make videos and I want to make sure that they're fun and stuff like that then I just I, I just can't go out with all my gear on, it's horrible. So, back to the bike. Some of you guys may remember that I test rode the 2015 S1000. I've been trying to rack my brain, remembering everything that I can about it, how it felt and rode, etc., etc., and um, apply that to, to this so that I can draw some form of comparison. So far, IMO, this bike doesn't feel any different to that. Not even a little bit. power is just incredible. What terrifies me about this motorcycle is actually one of the best things about it. And I know that sounds kind of strange. It's so smooth, so tame, so comfortable. That terrifies me because literally anybody could go out, buy an S1000 and have absolutely zero problems getting to grips with it, becoming familiar with it. It's got all the goodies, traction control and ABS and everything that you need to keep you safe. It's got all of that stuff. As a new rider, you could go out and buy this and be fine. 
but what I don't like about it conversely that same thing makes this bike hugely dangerous because somebody with no experience will get away with so many mistakes as a result of this bike's competence that should they ride this get comfortable get familiar and then go and take out our buddies 2005 whatever it is litre bike with none of the gadgets they're gonna die they're gonna come to grief because this bike is so good at protecting you and so easy that you're just gonna get way too familiar way too quick and is that a good thing or a bad thing I don't know it just makes me nervous the way that this bike delivers power it's nice and linear it's a bit of a surge don't get me wrong it, it quite obviously starts to pick up and pull harder as she goes but it's nice and smooth and you have absolutely zero idea how fast you're going until you look down at the number on your speedo no idea you're like all right sweet i've given it some beans i'm probably doing a decent 80 miles an hour i better roll off the throttle and you look down and it says 135 or something and you're just like oh shit that's what this bike is like to ride and i think what else speaks volumes about it is the fact that i can ride this bike so comfortably this is not my bike I've never ridden it before and i'm riding it as if i've owned it for six months i'm completely familiar i'm vlogging away while at the same time trying to figure out where i am and what i'm doing in the road markings and signs and all this kind of shit there's a lot going on in my head right now but i feel so comfortable like not even kind of a problem i, I feel like i could ride this thing for hours it's baffling how good of an all-round machine this is this machine was built to serve a purpose and that purpose is to go from A to B as quickly as possible, right? It's a missile, but at the same time, I feel like I could road trip on this son of a bitch for days. What up, brethren? If you need like an all-round machine, something that you want to take on track and just destroy everybody else while at the same time having something to commute on in the morning, the S1000 is a damn good choice, dude. Like, I'm not even sure what could compete with it sport bike-wise off the top of my head right now. Good lord. Yeah, that power is just stupid, dude. Absolutely stupid. Arousing as fuck. God, it feels amazing. Another good thing about it, the brakes. I know that I can really let rip on this thing because I know that it's going to stop. <laughs> what a machine, dude. What a machine. I could fall in love with this bike if I'm not careful. I think stateside over here where the roads are disgracefully nice. Look at this shit. Smooth and beautiful. I, I don't think there's any need to buy the 2015 model over here. I really don't, but... Why I can't really draw a perfect comparison between this model and the new model that I rode is because where I live the roads are shitty, full of potholes and stuff and uh, that suspension, the new electronic suspension on the 15 model could make an enormous difference and uh, I'd never know that from riding over here. I think in the US if you don't have the money for the new one I wouldn't worry about it because to me it feels and rides exactly the same. The power is still astronomical. The handling is fabulous, it's comfortable and capable. I, I don't see any need for it, I really don't. In the UK, however, where the roads are a little shittier, yeah, maybe it makes a little bit more sense. But in the meantime, guys, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Um, before I do, I just wanna shout another huge thank you to Wicked Moto, dude, thank you so much for letting me take your bike out today. I really appreciate that, bro. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Please go and check him out. He's a good guy. He deserves way more attention than he's currently getting. Um, but so far, I've been smoked. You guys have been awesome. Peace.